at this damage. Members of a church in Miami County are quickly working to preserve its historic building. Last night, storms blew the roof right off of that church. It's about 10 miles south of Paola. KCTV 5's Nathan Vickers is there live to show us how they're already working together to fix the hole. Nathan. That's right. Those were some really strong winds last night. They, they damaged the church like you saw. They also toppled over tombstones, and you can see that flagpole is just bent clean over. And then, of course, the roof of the church. They're working on it right now. This is the kind of congregation that's been here for generations, and they say they're going to overcome this as one body. Yeah. It's been a day of work, a day of lending a hand to the church that has served them for decades. Everyone really chipped in to clean up and have, has cleaned up most of the actual debris. Pastor Kevin Votes leads the congregation at Trinity Lutheran Church, who just finished renovating the building a few months ago. It feels sort of like being back under construction again. Last night, people in Miami County heard the roar of the storm. You just hear the whole house start shaking. Dwayne Daniels flew his drone over the damage. He lives just a few miles away. People always explain that it sounds like a freight train. It kind of did. There was a rumble to it. Now the congregation is racing against the weather. Also damage is in our south Sunday school room there, and uh, uh, we want to keep the water from damaging it any worse. After 150 years of worship, they have faith they can repair the building. We've been very blessed. Blessed for what didn't happen. It had hit just slightly differently. Would have destroyed probably the whole church. After all, a church is not its building. It's its people. The Bible says God works all things together for the good. We trust and hope that God is somehow working even this for the good. Well, if they can just keep the rain out of the church, they should uh, be able to have services again this Sunday. That's because uh, most of the damage was to the youth room that was sort of upstairs, and the sanctuary and the organ downstairs didn't have much damage at all. And that is truly a blessing for this congregation here at Trinity Lutheran. Reporting live in Miami County, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News.